Hello everyone and welcome to what I can only call is a post-hurricane alternative pedagogical practice. <laughs> um, first and foremost and seriously I hope you are all doing well, that you are on safe ground, high ground and uh, dry ground. Right, I hope if you're traveling, you are being safe and cautious. Don't go around barricades and such. Uh, drive carefully. Hopefully you're driving with somebody else while you're getting back to campus. Uh, in good news, we are going to be back in class and in our classroom starting Monday, which is just a few days away. So I have missed you very, very much. Um, and I have been eager to get back to the normalcy of the semester. So I hope you are looking forward to it as well. I know there is the danger when we have time off from school that we treat it as holiday or vacation, right? And of course, that's not what it was. It was an extended moment of crisis. Um, and we are now going to have to make up for the lost time and um, I'm going to do my utmost to keep um, a lot of our makeup assignments and work um, online so that you have um, time that you might need to do other things to recover from the last three weeks, um, be it in terms of your jobs, be it in terms of assignments and coursework, but please do do complete the makeup assignments for this course because if you don't, it's going to really be um, well, it's going to be difficult for you in the long run, right? Because um, there will come a time when you will need to establish either through assignments or tests or something like that um, during the semester during our course. Um, there will come a time when you will need to establish the fact that you have indeed made up for the work. I put out these lectures, I put out the discussion posts and threads of course on Facebook and on Moodle, uh, but it is your responsibility to reciprocate by contributing to these um, threads, to the discussions and to uh, listening to the lectures or reading the lectures, right? Um, so please do um, keep that in mind and uh, do your best to keep up with the pace, which is, of course, a little hurried this week. But starting next week, we will resume um, regular classroom engagements. And I think that will help you um, return to the normalcy of the semester, right? So with that, welcome back. This is a sort of prelude to my lectures. Uh, I might um, have one or two lectures on the topic of creepiness, right? And Batman, the film that um, I required you to watch. Um, and I had posted the readings. Fortunately, all your readings are on Moodle or I email them to you. Um, well, they're all on Moodle. So uh, you've not had to compromise your reading access. If you have internet access, you should have access to our Moodle page and you should have access to the readings. Now, if you don't have access to the internet, once you do, I will expect you to re go back and uh, kind of um, make up for the materials, right? So I will penalize you if you don't have internet uh, access right now, but I will expect you to um, recover and literally trace back to when you to the stuff that you've missed right so uh, we can talk about that very briefly on monday so what are my lectures going to be about um when i will refer to um this book creepiness um adam kotzko i have um posted in that link or shared link in which his work is reviewed and you of course have commented on it already uh, in part some of you have not all uh, so I'll discuss what he is referring to as the aesthetic of creepiness um, then of course I will address many of the questions you had which were really interesting and intriguing um, 
specifically many of you had questions regarding the king, the Burger King king, and why and how he is creepy, and why and how, uh, as many of you noted, uh, the bizarreness of associating him with sexuality and with sexual activity is what rendered him particularly creepy, um, uh, especially in the context of a fast food ad, right? Um, so I'll address that issue which came up um, in many of your questions. I'll also address uh, creepiness in the context of Batman, right? Many of you um, quite astutely pointed to the creepiness of the Joker's character, right? Um, in The Dark Knight, the Joker is played by the now deceased uh, Heath Ledger, um, and of course he is more quote-unquote realistic than the clownish Joker character that was played by uh, the inimitable, I would say, Jack Nicholson, who played him in in the earlier uh, Batman, in which he is the Joker. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about the creepiness of clowns, or the Jokers, right, uh, figures, um, and how that is being distilled and played with in, um, um, in Dark Knight. I'll also draw attention to the creepiness of the Dark Knight himself, of Batman, right? Um, many of you did not, uh, well, most of you did not um, discuss Batman's creepiness uh, because he is the superhero, but I would like for us to have a conversation about the creepiness of superheroes, right? Specifically, the comic book varietals of superheroes. Um, and to think particularly about Batman himself as a creepy figure, right, uh, who capitalizes on the aesthetic of creepiness. So um, that would be part of my lecture. And finally, I'd like us to think about minor aesthetics, right? What differentiates creepiness from the aesthetic of horror? We talked about horror when we were talking about Get Out, right? And um, we read The Uncanny, which of course emerges once again in the discussion that Kotzko has on um, creepiness, right? But what what is the difference between the uncanny and the creepy? What is the difference between the aesthetic of horror and the aesthetic of creepiness? I would like us to consider those in theoretical ways, because after all this course uh, is focusing on what exactly um, goes on when we start thinking about aesthetics, right? What What is socially, theoretically, culturally relevant about aesthetics, right? Is that it represents our own ideas about what is good and bad, beautiful and ugly, and so on. But where does creepiness fall in that spectrum of our aesthetic principles? Um, that's something which I would like us to think about, is it a valuable aesthetic or not? Why, why not? Uh, so I will raise these questions in my lecture, which I will start as soon as I have posted this prelude, preface if you will, uh, to our, to my lectures for today, and um, then I will carry on. Um, just in terms of logistics, these lectures will last 15 minutes each, uh, not only because that is how long my lectures tend to last if we were in classrooms, but also because the software I'm using allows me a maximum of 15 minutes, right? So um, please pay attention to these lectures, respond to them, comment on them, um, ask me questions if things are not clear, right? I will ramble, I'm sure, because it is an unnatural genre for me to look into a green light um, when I really am tempted to kind of look around for you. Um, in a classroom-like environment. So um, bear with me if I ramble and again uh, ask for any clarifications um, if you need need them. I um, will just say this and then I'll uh, switch off, um, start recording the lectures themselves. The readings that you're supposed to do, right, um, for I asked you to finish reading something for today, um, and I will post um, a discussion thread on that um, in 
well, I'll post a discussion thread on that tomorrow as well as a lecture on that tomorrow, right? So you're supposed to uh, read the article on perspectives on LGBTQ emerging youth. Uh, again, it's posted on Moodle. It has been there from the beginning of the semester, so it should not be difficult for you to find it uh, under course readings. And um, I have asked you to view and if you've viewed it in the past, review Moonlight, right? The film um, that is critically acclaimed for very good reason, a tremendous movie, right? Um, so we'll talk about those in conjunction with one another tomorrow. Uh, so I'll post discussion threads on Facebook and on Moodle uh, for that conversation, and I'll follow that up. Uh, once you've responded to the questions I ask, um, I will post uh, a lecture in response to your questions and comments, right? So thank you for your time. I will see you in just a little bit with uh, discussions of creepiness. All right. Bye.